Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trail Makers video. Today we're going to have a quick look at the forces in Trail Makers. Basically, the forces are this little thing here. So if you go in advanced, we have this new visual forces indicator. Now essentially guys, this is here to make plane building a lot easier. So, what we need to do is build a plane. Alright, so on the top right of the screen here, we have the center of mass, uh, which is ready, but we don't actually have a build out yet. So we're going to build a quick plane. Uh, let's grab the VIP seat here. And uh, as we start adding blocks uh, onto the build here, here we go, you'll start to see like little symbols on the screen. So here is the uh, center of mass right now. And basically, guys, the center of mass is where all your weight is, the exact center of your weight. So, let's have a look. If we uh, continue building a quick little um, plane here. Alright, so we're just slapping a few things together now, guys. There we go. Alright, that will do for now. Let's add a propulsion piece. So, we're actually going to go for the large propeller. And now we have the large propeller, we have a new symbol on the screen, which is the center of thrust. Basically, guys, the center of thrust shows you where your thrust power is aligned next to everything else. But we're going to come back to the uh, center of thrust in a second. Okay, so we have a bit of a shape here now, guys, uh, of a plane fuselage, a very simple plane. But now I'm going to actually add a tail. So the tail elevators right here, we're just going to stick this on like so. And now that they're on, that should be good. I can now add my vertical stabilizer. And here it is. We're just going to rotate that around like so. And yes, so there should be a lot more symbols ready to come on the screen. However, we do need our wings. Let's just smack on our uh, ailerons really quickly. There we go. And on the other side like so. And finally, let's just hook everything up together with uh, these flat connectors here. We just want to stick them onto the connection points on the roof of the seat. And there we go. We have our lift. And as you can see, we do have some new things on the screen. So we have our center of horizontal drag, which is basically for your um, vertical stabilizer. It tells you if it's nicely aligned with the rest of the plane. Essentially helps you to make sure everything is symmetrical. If I move the tail here, so let's just grab the tail and move it like so. If we have a look at our uh, horizontal drag now, it's actually misaligned to the center of mass. It could make your plane a little unstable. So what you want to make sure, guys, is that that is in the center, like on the same axis as everything else, which is good. All right, for our next little icon here, we actually have the center of vertical drag. So it's pretty much the same thing um, in terms of having everything symmetrical. If, uh, if I like mess around here and move everything, you can see how that gets misaligned and stuff. And oh, it also affects this one, but we'll come to that one. But uh, it is a necessary one to have a look at when you're building a plane. But it's not quite that important because the most important one is the center of lift. So if we have a look here, I actually have a little information icon telling me that there's something wrong here essentially. Center of lift shows the average position of lift from wings. Hint. Airplanes of the center of lift close to the center of mass are more stable. The lift from the wings is behind the center of mass. This will push your tail up instead. So what it's telling us, guys, is uh, my weight here is in front of my center of lift. So I'm actually going to pitch down um, because my nose is actually heavier. So what I need to do is move the center of mass back. And to do that, guys, we can do something as simple as just deleting some blocks here and actually sticking in a weight block. If I go ahead and uh, stick this in really quick into that position, you can see how I've moved my center of weight back now. However, we have a new problem. Try adding elevator fins to the rear of your vehicle and move your center of mass forward. Okay, so basically it's telling me um, this is too close to my center of mass now. Uh, what I actually think I can do to fix this though, I think that weight might be a little too heavy. So basically guys, the, the visualization of the forces really shows you how to make a good plane. Here we go. So I've added the uh, 30kg 
wait to this little plane now and all of my uh all of my icons seem pretty good here the lift is right above the center of mass so it's on top of it um if you have your lift like in the same exact space as your center of mass that also means your plane is really good as well but so far this is looking pretty good uh what i can do is probably add a landing gear because i need to take off from the ground here um, as you can see by a tiny little bit, we've moved the center of mass forward, which is fine. Uh, I wonder if I move the wheel back, uh, we can fix that a little bit. Okay, so we're just gonna test this little thing out so far. So all of my forces are telling me this thing is good to go. So I'm going to trust in that and here we go. Off we go. We might need a little bit more power. But all I'm doing guys, I'm holding the space bar. And we're super stable, look at that! For a quick little tiny plane design there guys, this is really good. And I can control this thing really nicely. Wow. Planes in Trail Makers have never been easier to make. Now that we have all these new additions, it's really handy to be honest. Alright, let's go in for a landing. Whoa! Come on, quickly! Yay! Oh, oh! Here we go. I, sh I could add more landing gear, but uh... You get the whole premise, guys. I hope you uh, learn a little bit from this. Okay, guys, so keep in mind, we do have these forces um, and also aerodynamics as well to check how your aerodynamics is going. These new features in the game really let you build planes and vehicles of any kind a lot easier now. So remember, center of mass, center of lift, center of thrust, center of vertical drag, and center of horizontal drag. All of these little forces here are very vital to making a good plane. Now there's a few other things I want to demonstrate, uh, especially with the uh, center of thrust here. If I actually add a um, some propulsion, let's add a dragon engine really quick. So you can see how my center of thrust is moved back now. And if I do this and add more, my center of thrust now shows a little warning icon. Because my center of thrust is below my center of mass right now, um, and so close to my center of mass, I'm going to have a negative effect. And this is most likely going to make the plane go up like this. Forward thrust is below your center of mass. This will push your nose up and make it hard to go straight. There we go, my theory was right. So if I just give it a quick test here, guys. So I'm just holding the space. And we're not leveling out, we're actually having too much center of thrust. And our thrust is pushing the nose up and we're doing this whole entire loop. Which is not good at all. So try and keep your center of thrust on the same axis as your center of mass. Alright guys, so I've extended the wings, now we can see the new problems we're having. So the center of lift is showing me that uh, I have too much lift on the left side. Everything looks a little messy, so if I show you how this thing flies now, pretty much what you expect. One of the wings will have too much lift and uh, would make me roll around unstable like this. So, another thing to uh, keep into mind, keep your build symmetrical, basically. All right, now let's have a look when we remove our vertical stabilizer. So the tail is gone now, now we have more problems. So the center of drag is having a problem now. Because I don't have a vertical stabilizer, there's no center of drag to keep the plane uh, basically f staying forward in the air. And my lift is also having a problem. The lift from the wings behind your center of mass will push the tail up. So basically now we're too nose heavy. If I give this a quick test flight, I mean, I can fly if I fight the controls, but if I let go of the controls here, you can see how um, it's not as easy to fly straight. I'm trying to lean to the right and no, no, without that vertical stabilizer, um, I'm not making much progress. <laughs> oh, oh dear, no, 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 oh, okay, well, that's a crash. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys now understand a little bit more about the forces in Trailmakers, especially to you newer players who are trying to make your very cool planes. These are very essential, so make sure you follow along to this. Uh, I do say the lift 
and the thrust is the most important, as well as your center of mass. But I hope this has gave you a little bit more insight on how like physics works in Trailmakers to make an aircraft fly. If you're making something very simple like this, yes, it's going to be a lot easier to make, but I imagine if you're making a bigger plane, for example, these are going to be very important. I know it's been a quick one. I hope you guys learned something today and uh, you have a little bit more information about how these forces are meant to be used. If you liked it, leave a like and why not let me know what you guys want to see next. Maybe you guys want an in-depth tutorial on how to do nice decals and paint jobs in Trailmakers. Definitely let me know. But anyway guys, that's enough from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!